Good morning, beloveds. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you've been outside or not yet, but um, I have, I have. Tom and I went for a run this morning and it was sticky and it was hot and oh my God. Um, yeah, summer's here. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and then to make matters more interesting, um, I did my workout yesterday with my trainer over Zoom and and my co-minister has arrived and he, um, I love and hate, I have a love-hate relationship with squats. I don't like doing them, uh, but this one particular squat, he, he calls it a sumo squat. Um, it's my least favorite, maybe, but it also is a good stretch because it really stretches up into the hips and down into the inner thighs. But oh my gosh, does it leave me aching. Uh, which means I did them right yesterday. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I have a sneaking suspicion the floor is going to be really far away today. Um, I don't know. They're talking about thunderstorms today. And so we'll see. Uh, when we went out this morning, it was we had a complete cloud cover. And now I'm looking outside right now and I'm like, the sun is out. But that's what we say about Houston weather. Um is wait, if you don't like the wait, weather, wait 15 minutes and it'll change. Uh, I joke that uh, God doesn't turn the breeze on until 8 a.m., but I have to do my run at 7. <laughs> Good morning, Cleo. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be a day. It's going to be a day. It's Tuesday. It's also Cinco de Mayo. Mmm. Whatever that looks like to you. My calendar says it's the Battle of Mexico. I I do know that uh, for two years we got to do the Cinco... Uh, no, they called it the Santo de Mayo run. Uh, and it, was it was sponsored by St. Arnold's. And it was a fun run. And they had cool t-shirts. And they had cool medals. And they threw an awesome after party. Uh at down at the because it, it was down near uh, St. Arnold's. Basically, we would start at St. Arnold's and we would run almost to Minute Maid Park and then back. Um, and you wouldn't believe that there are hills in Houston, but oh my god, there are hills. Uh, <laughs> what that means is there are underpasses and overpasses. Um, because towards the end of the uh, towards the turnaround point on the run, you um have to run under a railroad track and then come back, which means you have to do it twice. And it's nice and cool under there, but it's also, you have, you get to run downhill and then you have to run uphill. Uh, they moved it to the art car and it was one of the, f uh, it was one of the ones that got postponed. Uh, fortunately they postponed it. Unfortunately they postponed it to November and I'm generally not available in November. Um, but they gave us a virtual option. So my husband is running a canceled versus postponed tour. <sighs> His birthday is one of the things that got postponed. So we're going to have to figure that out eventually. Uh, so for anybody who has a birthday in March and April, your birthday has been postponed until la a later date. You know, don't don't cancel your birthday. Um, uh, the, this is the, this is the uh, random musings of a mad mind, by the way. And now we're going to get on with Ernest Holmes. And see what he has to say today. Because remember, May is the month of joy. <laughs> she's licking me and I'm worried that she's going to lick me and then she's going to start nipping. Which is always really distracting when um, I'm trying to read. Okay, our Bible quote again comes from Job. We are now Job 33.4 for May 5th in the book. The Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. Whew. All right. Ernest, what have you got to say today? Uh-oh. <laughs> I started talking about workout. Let's see what he has to say. It starts off with, My body is the temple of the living God. 
It is the spirit. It is spiritual substance. Every part of my body is attuned to this living spirit within me. I have perfect confidence in my heart that God's life giving spirit is my life. Since God is my life and God is eternal, my life is eternal. Therefore, I cannot be separated from God, from good, or from perfection. The perfect life of God now is expressed through me, and every part of my body expresses its innate perfection and wholeness. As the sun dissolves mists, so does my knowledge of truth dissolve all pain and discord. I know the truth about myself as a child of God, and that truth makes me free. I am free because the power of the living spirit is my power, and it remolds and recreates my body after the likeness of the perfect plan of God. I accept, then, my own spiritual and physical perfection. I accept my privilege as its expression of expression of manifestation of life, love, peace, strength, harmony, and joy of God, the almighty presence who dwells within me and incarnates in me as me. And now I'm going to take a deep breath. <laughs> um, and listen to my cat purr for a minute. Um, she's really, really got it going on today. I wish you guys could hear it. Um, okay, so my body, my body is the temple of the living God. So I don't read these beforehand. I think it's ironic that I started talking at, talking about working out because that is one of the ways that I take care of my living temple. Um, by running three days a week, by working out one day a week, um, and I walk two days a week, and then I do take a day off uh, to give my body, my temple a rest. And ironically, the day that I take off is Sunday. That's the day that I let my physical body rest because I'm exercising my spiritual body. Um, and uh, so he goes through and he talks about this. And I wanted to, he uses the word plan a lot. And a lot of us have, or Ernest uses the word plan a lot. And a lot of us have uh, some baggage around that word. And, and I was trying to remember what Jesse always says. And so he said it again on Sunday. He, he reminded me on Sunday when he was doing the talk, what he said was, it's not the, what we use is not the divine plan, but the divine pattern. Um, because plan in, in kind of makes us feel like everything's laid out. Whereas a pattern is, more flexible, I think would be a good way to say that. Um, and so we are a divine pattern. It's not laid out. It's not, you know, this is the only way you can go, but it's a pattern that will create a picture. Um, and the good news is there's a lot of different patterns. Uh, we are one in multiplicity or one in our individuality. Uh, everybody's unique, just like me. <laughs> And I don't mean that to sound flippant. Uh, that's the beauty of our teaching is that we believe in the one, and we, but we believe in the multiplicity, the individuality, the that we are an individual expression of the one. Um, and now she's biting. Okay, so he goes in to talk about my body uh, as a temple. And then he talks about, therefore, I cannot be separated from God, from good, or from perfection. Which is the core of our teaching. We cannot be separated. The separation is only an illusion. We are that divine substance. That is what we are made of. We are made of the one. We are part of the one. Um, and the one is greater than any of its parts. Or the sum of its parts is, I think, what I meant to say. And uh, so if I can say every day that the perfect life of God is now expressed through me and believe it and take comfort in that, and that's really what I would like you to do is if you say the perfect life of God is now expressed through me 
Every part of my body expresses the innate perfection and wholeness and take comfort in that. Don't beat yourself up about the media standards of, or the industry standards of beauty. You're perfect just like you are. You are an expression of God just like you are. And I need to go run my cat off from licking the other cat's ear. Hang on. Rita. Back off. My apologies. I have a cat who has thyroid meds in his ear. And he. we have to make sure that nobody licks his ear for 30 minutes after he gets his meds. And it would just be a better idea that nobody do it. And guess what she was doing? <laughs> Oh, welcome to live. Um, so, as the sun dissolves myths, so does my knowledge of truth dissolve all pain and discord. All right. So, if I can take comfort in the perfect life of God is now expressed through me, then the pain and discord that I am dissolving is allowing the standards of what other people have told me I should be. That's what I'm dissolving. That is the pain and discord I am dissolving. I am letting go of what other people believe I should be and accepting who I am because I am a perfect child of God. I, I'm just, that's clear. Yes. Okay. I'm on board with that. I know the truth about myself as a child of God and that truth makes me free. I am free because the power of the living spirit is my power. When I am open to that power, when I accept that power, uh, it remolds and recreates my body after the likeness of the perfect pattern of God. I'm going to use that word. Um, When we stop trying to live up to what other people have told us we should be, then we will naturally settle into who we should be. I'm working on it. <laughs> Trust me, this is a process for me and I'm going, oh yeah, let's just get all Lisa's vulnerable points today. Okay. Yep. Yep. I'm feeling it. Um, so I accept then my own spiritual and physical perfection. Can I tattoo that on my forehead so I see it every day? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. I accept then my own sp spiritual and physical perfection. I accept my privilege as its expression of manifesting life, love, peace, strength, harmony, and the joy of God. The Almighty Presence who dwells within me incarnates in me as me. All right. So those are my marching orders today. My marching orders are to accept my own spiritual and physical perfection. <sighs> I wasn't expecting to get homework from Ernest today, but it sounds like I did. Um, so your mission, if you choose to accept it today, is to accept your own spiritual and physical perfection. You are a perfect child of God and God is delighted in you. Now we just have to believe it. All right. I'm going to get on with my day. Um, if you, I would, if it does rain today and you want to get out and dance in the rain, please do. I thoroughly encourage that. Do something that brings you joy today. Um, yeah. <laughs> I am now in a fantastic silly mood. And so I'm looking forward to having a good day. Even if the floor is really far away. Thank you, squats. All right. Know that we are with you. Know that we love you. Know that we have all these fantastic classes coming up very soon. Please check your emails. Uh, there are at least four on tap in the next few. And uh, if you haven't checked your email, Reverend Jesse has put in a number of different resources, including we are starting up a social connection. So please check into that. And um, yeah, I will be back with you at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Reverend David will be on sometime around 5. 
Have a good day. Do something wonderful for yourself. Love you guys. Have a great day.